Caddis Maximus here, this time with a review of the GM Power Torque extension handle half inch drive breaker bar. And it is exactly as it sounds. It has a quick release here, some little detents for the uh, ball bearing. And it's a breaker bar that allows you to extend it out quite long, actually, 23 inches. So the big trend these days is these really long half inch breaker bars. Here's this Pittsburgh one. And we can see that this is. I got the camera up pretty high, but this breaker bar is within, actually this is would be considered a 24 inch, it's within a half inch of the Pittsburgh. So, you know, ultimately, this thing, what I think was, had to make sure I wasn't misquoting myself, I bought a couple things that day, 35 bucks. So to tell you the truth, this, I think, is actually quite worth it and is a surprising deal. This is actually a Harbor Freight level deal. Uh, especially for a more complicated tool because you have to have both of these sections here. You have this tube. It's interesting this is a tube with like a pressed on cap. They do have a spring so when you close it all the way down it kind of bounces a little bit. As well as having an o-ring there, there is an undercut. And I think if this thing breaks it's going to be at that undercut which is just over a half inch, maybe 550 thousandths. The hex is surprisingly enough 5 eighths, 625 thousandths. And I guess the only real operational issue I can say is, one, they only use one ball detent. Uh, two, the machining of the hex and then relation to the machining of the head isn't aligned, and so that's just kind of a fit and finish thing. Uh, the other thing is if you're pulling it out kind of quickly, before I was so rudely interrupted, is when you pull this back, if you kind of pull it out fast like that, it ends up kind of bouncing and rounding out the holes but it's not really so bad as far as structurally actually i kind of you know these things are meant for service work because or service trucks tow trucks those kind of things i think that's really what the the intention of them was for so you could have larger breaker bars but obviously take up just a smaller amount of space in your toolbox and autozone and other places have had them but they've all been like kind of short and seemed really pointless the I like this one because it's the size of one of these big two-foot breaker bars. And actually I thought, or when I tested it a little bit, it has a distinct advantage. One of them is that this hex bar here is 5 8 so it is pretty rigid. The second thing is, is half of this is a large diameter metal tube, a uh, pretty thick wall metal tube. It's a short, it's basically a short breaker bar with a built-in cheater handle. and that offers, this offers quite a bit of rigidity, even though it's a hollow tube, just because it has a lot of diameter and reasonably thick walls. And I was noticing, just torquing on some fasteners, you know, I have a press here, so I was just using this big socket, and pretty good detent on this. I was noticing that this just felt a bit more rigid. This, the long two foot, at least the Pittsburgh, you know, it works, but it has a bit of spring. I mean, that's a two foot long piece of steel that's only about five eighths of a, a little, or excuse me, a little over half an inch, 550 thousandths thick, and uh, you feel this half springiness. You know, you use this on, you know, kind of stuck lug nuts, and it's actually bouncing like a spring until the bolt uh, breaks. And, you know, I like that you have the extra torque. I don't like running tools into their elastic. Or... It's a little noisy around the table today. Sorry if I had the audio off. Uh, I just don't like the fact that when you were using one of these, um, that if you have a real stuck bolt that you build up a bunch of elastic and then the bolt actually like breaks and makes a snap and it's not something I really, you know, that's why you get three quarter inch bars. A lot more control and that's kind of what I liked about this is this thing is actually surprisingly rigid. You can feel a whole lot less flex in it. And so I kind of thought it was decent for that purpose. Another thing is I think when it, why it would fail right there at the undercut, you know, obviously it's turned down really uh, pretty small for that O-ring versus the pipe splitting is because the pipe probably would crack and split, but it has this thick collar to help back it up right here. So if you were putting a cheater bar on this, uh, I'm sure, you know, ultimately it would fail right there. I'm sh pretty, you know, it would be either be that or the square. And I was going to say the head's actually surprisingly chunky, and they were wise by, you know, a lot of these forks are a little bit long, in my opinion. This one's really nested down tight, so, you know, it's relatively designed. It's 35 bucks. It's not, you know, a real expensive tool there, but surprisingly enough, this is actually kind of a gem at uh, O'Reilly's, just because 
this is like a great breaker bar to do all sorts of truck lug, not semi truck, but all sorts of you know, you know, eight lug diesel F three fifty lug nuts. And then it's something that can go down small enough to actually fit in a normal size toolbox rather than having like one of these things. And then these, you know, are rubber branding on you and flexing and quite frankly, not exactly delivering the torque where you want it. And this is kind of reminding me on why, you know, if you need a longer breaker bar, it needs to be larger in diameter because, you know, I'm sure... I mean, I've seen the test of these long ones, and they certainly work pretty well, but I'm pretty sure they were all bent after the tests. And something like this, I think uh, if you get to the point of bending it, they'll probably end up just breaking. Anyway, I really appreciate everybody watching and subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Until next time, Caddis Maximus out.